Well, if you're on your own and you have, quote, an idea, the first question is, do you know anybody in the market you're trying to sell to? Do you, do you know what you're doing? Do you have experience? If you don't, you should put your idea aside, go work in the market you're planning to sell into for two years or something so that you understand. Your idea may be really great, but you don't know what the problems are of actually trying to implement it because you've never worked in that industry. Your idea may be great, but you don't know anybody who can help you sell it, who can help you run operations. There's a huge amount of, oh, gee, this kid just came out of, he dropped out of Harvard, we must invest in him. Mark Zuckerberg was selling to people exactly like himself. So, yeah, he kind of knew. But in general, I would much rather invest in somebody who has four or five years of experience in whatever it is they're trying to disrupt than somebody who's sitting in a room and had a great idea about fixing the world that he doesn't really understand. So it's, everything goes in stages, and the farther along you are in going through those stages, including collecting experience and people, the more interesting you are as an investment. But I wouldn't invest in someone with an idea.